All right, so this is Matchmaker Agency. Hot singles near your area and they're ready to date. Not with you, no. Your job is to find them the perfect date and become the best matchmaker in town. Welcome everybody to Matchmaker Agency, a game developed by Ninja Games and Melicat, also published by Soft Source PD LTD. Um, yeah, this is an upcoming game. This is part of one of the Steam Next Fest games that I've taken a look at, a little bit of a demo here. First look at Matchmaker Agency. Caught my eye, looks interesting, looks fun. We're gonna play it today. If it's something that catches your fancy and you wanna see it, uh, come to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content by me. And if you really like the game and you wanna play it for yourself, make sure to go ahead and uh, add it to your wish list. When it does release, you'll know when, and so you can play it for yourself. Now, it looks like there's a new game, a free play mode, and a create character, which is obviously not available here in the demo. Um, but a free play mode sounds pretty cool, and a creating your own character also sounds pretty cool as well. Hit new game, let's go. Player name, we already know. This is The Cans. Uh, story uh, difficulty mode, story classic or Cupid. Matchmaking clients is easier, recommended for those who seek the, to enjoy the story at the faster pace with little difficulty. The regular experience of matchmaking recommended for those who still want a challenge alongside the Cupid, or sorry, the story, and Cupid, the complete Emeraldville package experience of matchmaking, not recommended for first time players. None of these are actually available for the demo, except for story. So we have to do story. The agency name is Cupid Hands. I am now a matchmaker <laughs> the town of Amerville, a special place where folks from around the world make their way here to try their luck at love very well that's me i'm the cupid couples are frequently spotted mingling at the romantic park located at the town's beautiful center oh i'm excited to be people's matchmaker man all right blessed by the goddess of love Emerville is a courtship haven a blossoming garden for anyone looking for their own and true soulmate i look fabulous while uncommon some find it difficult to find love on their own that's why Emerville is host to the world's greatest matchmaking agency set up specifically in this area other than being the center of passion and flirtation this is also where i grew up my parents often brought me to my grandparents' matchmaking agency. Wow, it's in the business, is it? Or it's in the family, right? <laughs> Very well. Okay. The, they had the highest rated and greatest matchmaking agency in all of Amberville. Anytime people ask for their help, my grandparents always matched them in no time. My grandparents really were the true cupids of the town. Growing up, I used to help them with their work, or at least I thought I did. Grandma would scold me for making a mess of the papers and tools around the office. On the other hand, Grandpa used to let me help make decisions. I would help them in matching strangers and arranging their dates. He told me I had the family's natural talent, a true Amarville Cupid. So, in like maybe farming games, you would see the grandparents hand off a farm. No! In this case, we are handed down a matchmaking agency. And then that one day came. It's just like a farming game, isn't it? Very well. <clears throat> My grandpa had a heart attack. After being bedridden for a few days in the hospital, his condition worsened. He lapsed into a coma. And as if that wasn't enough, he lost grandma while she was waiting for him to wake up after so many years. My goodness, this game took a deep turn here. When the day finally came and Grandpa came too, he was heartbroken. A few months after, he recovered from his coma. His soul departed Amerville to be with Grandma. The matchmaker agency was left to my parents, but since they already had jobs, they struck a deal with the landlord to leave it in the holding. The lawyers agreed to leave it that way since it's con considered a historical building. My lord. And now I'm older and came back one last time. I was in the middle of cleaning the office before saying my final goodbye. And to my surprise, I found a letter from my grandparents that was addressed to me.
and they wrote nothing on it. A kid. We hereby entrust our life's work, the Cupid Cans, to our dearest grandchild and successor, Hands. All assets and authority regarding the matchmaking agency will be at their disposal. Accompanying this last will, uh, will is the necessity to fulfill a legal obligation to the landlord to whom the building of Cupid Cans belongs to. Specifically, the remaining balance of the lease owed to the landlord. At the time Cans reads this will, they will have one year, 12 months, to pay the remaining balance sum of $25,000 to the landlord. After the balance has been paid, Cans will hold exclusive rights to the property and land of this establishment. Failure to do so will result, result in forfeiting this property to the landlord, whereby all rights to the establishment will be res rescinded, 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 rescinded. We truly believe in Cans' ability to rise to the challenge and restore Cupid Cans to its former glory. We love you very much and hope only for the best, whatever you decide. The doorbell rings, but the doors close before the chime ends. Oh my god, a cat named Charles. My oh my, you've grown. I beg your pardon. You probably don't remember me, but I've had my eyes on you for a while. Took you long enough to come back, Cans. A talking cat? I kind of agree. Hmm, how rude. Uh, youth these days have terrible manners. We shall have to work on that. Hmm. Uh, how can you charm your clients otherwise? Nonetheless, let us in the pleasantries. Uh, let us end the pleasantries and skip to the introductions. I am Charles, a familiar. It is in your grandparents' service. Are you my grandparents? Are you are my grandparents that famous? But they've passed away. Why are you still in their service? Ah uh, no. Are my grandparents really that famous? Ah. I understand that after your grandparents passed, your parents led you away from your family's true calling. It is simply not possible for you to fathom the extent of your grandparents' legacy. Nevertheless, that legacy is in your own in your hands now. There will be much you need to catch up on, but worry not. I, Charles, am here to guide you, just as I have guided generations before you. Before that, however, I need you to answer one question. Why did you choose to return to Cupid Cans? Hmm. I really needed a job and this was an opportunity. I wanted to make my grandparents proud. If they believe in me enough to leave their agency in my hands, I need to see it through. You have fire in your heart and I appreciate that. Let's hope you have the perseverance to see it through. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Cricket, for becoming a member. Big shout out to you, Cricket. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do your best and you shall find whatever it is you seek. Now, I need to understand how qualified you are. Do you have any professional experience? Um, I've been saving up just so I don't have to work. Does volunteering count? I'm a fresh graduate. Don't I look well, you know, fresh? Does volunteering count? It depends on what kind of volunteering you were engaged in. Still, you should be able to call in a few a favors or reel in potential clients through your past connections. I am pleased to be here to guide you henceforth, and you shall not find yourself lost in the ways of joining hearts. However, before we get to work, there is someone you might get acquainted with. The front door opens and a middle-aged man walks in. The landlord comes in. Ah, now this is a pleasant surprise. I thought there were squatters. It's been a very long time since I've seen you, child. Oh, hey, uh, who do you think you're calling a child? <laughs> Seems like you don't remember me, Cans. I'm the reason this place is still waiting for you. I'm the landlord. This historical space could have earned me loads if I rented it to actual people. But no, I agreed with your grandparents and lawyers. And now you're here. I thought that I waited long enough to finally sell it. You had to show up now out of all the years. Well, I'm sorry, but do we have a misunderstanding? You don't know anything, do you? How naive. Before your grandfather passed away, we struck a deal to leave this dump for your family to use. The remaining loan would be frozen, and that would mean I wouldn't get any money. I agreed not to rent it out. It's all in writing, especially the fina uh, final condition. If after 15 years the place wasn't claimed, the ownership would transfer back to me. There are only a few months left before the 15-year clause is up. The timing. <laughs> I can't believe you would come now, out of all the years. You've ruined my plans, Cans, and for that, I'm not giving you any favors. Did you really think you could walk in here and have it easy? Huh. It doesn't really matter what you think. You're bound by law. Your grandparents told me about the will and the conditions were negotiated. Given how green you are, I'll make sure to pop by and check in on you. Starting sometime this month, I'll be swinging by to collect your debt payment. And after that, at a regular occurrence, I'll let you know later. If you can't pay, then the place is mine. 
Nothing would make me happier. By the surprise look, you should know this by now. Make sure to carefully reread the will, Gans. Well, I've said enough. Welcome back. Clean up this place, will ya? Go easy on him, Charles. I'm sure he's in good hands, but I can't say I wish you both luck. Sorry, but that's just the circumstances I'm in. The landlord leaves. Age has made him no less grumpier, it seems. This does not discourage you, does it? His words can be quite bitter, but at least he is not unfair. Hmm. Seems like my parents didn't tell me everything. Not everyone has anticipated your return for the better, Cans. Unlike the landlord, I am happy to have you here. Are you prepared to take on the responsibilities outlined in the will, despite having no choice in the inheritance? <laughs> I guess so. I hope you understand your obligations. Is there anything you wish to comment on? I heard that youth these days cannot help themselves from commenting. Hmm. No, I've got it. Cupid Cans was more than mere business to your late grandparents. This building has been passed down through multiple generations, each continuing the legacy left behind. Every owner has poured their heart and soul into the importance of what this agency provides as a service. I'm not here to dictate how much passion you will put into this business. That is up to you. I am but a familiar, a steward left to guide you in the ways of connecting hearts. I will keep track of your progress as time goes on, but whether you succeed depends entirely on you. Well, thanks, Charles. I really appreciate or I really hope you can help me because I have no idea what I'm doing. I appreciate the faith you have in me, Cans. When you were still a child, I was rarely at the agency because of how successful your grandparents were. The times that I stopped by, I saw your talent from afar. Let's not dwaddle, uh, dwaddle, yeah, dondle, dondle, maybe dondle, dondle any further and get down to work. So welcome. As a matchmaker, your job is to pay off the debt to the landlord and help clients find love. This is your office, a space where you can access all of the essentials to run the agency. At the bottom of the screen, starting from left to right, we have the telephone, where you can view, perform marketing strategies. The portfolio in the middle is where you'll be spending the majority of your time doing tasks such as viewing current clients, matching them, or interviews. Finally, on the right, we have the tablet, where you can access upgrades using the shop. Very cool. Located above, you have the maximum number of allowed clients, the current week, money available, and current reputation. The remaining debt index payment is also displayed as a friendly reminder from your favorite landlord. You can also purchase items and view your marketing activities as well. Interesting. Okay. Agency reputation is critical to your success or failure. For each successful match, you will earn a positive reputation. A loss of reputation will occur for failed matches, rejecting candidates and ignoring current clients. If your reputation drops to zero, then it will be game over for the agency. Remember, the goal is to match your clients, so keeping your reputation high and paying off your debt monthly is key. Make sure to keep an eye on the time limit. Good luck. Oh my god. This is where we keep our clients' files. Oh my lord, hello. Since we're just starting, I have pulled some strings so that you may learn the ropes straight away on your first day. No need to thank me. I'll be here to support you every step of the way. After day one, you must set out to find clients on your own. Let's focus on learning how to match your clients. So this is a list of potential candidates that you can select. Here you can see how many available clients are in the agency. Choose a client to see their de detailed information. The list displays various perks such as their ideal types, their likes, and their hates. Make sure to read it carefully and thoroughly. Once you have chosen a client, choose another one to, pair, to form a pair. Your job is to pair people with matching interests and see if they are compatible with each other. If you think you have a, suit a suitable pair, press the big heart for the match. Now you must plan the venue to hold the perfect date for your clients. Later, you will be able to choose a date item uh, that come into play on site. Oh my gosh. Okay, very well. Location and items are compatible with different types of people. Being strategic is a quick way of becoming a proficient matchmaker. So you would be like, these two really like each other. We're going to set them up at the cafe. We'll give them chocolate, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but be careful, repeating failures or ignoring clients for too long will lead to folks losing patience and leaving the agency, reducing your reputation. Very well, all right. So we have Fiona Russell, who is age 25. She is a writer, she is straight, and she has no previous date. She's an introvert, she's calm, she's peace, and she's timid. Uh, her ideal would be romantic, caring, gentleman, handsome. She likes books, charming, and indoors. She hates Playboy. How dare you? <laughs> and prejudice and competitive. So we need to figure out if Carol or Aaron will be the best suitor for Fiona. Carol Sandoval is a barber who's straight. He's chatty. He's an extrovert. He's creative. Uh, he's looking for someone who is talkative, gentle, caring, and timid, who likes movies and group activities and funny, uh, melodious. He hates rude, irrational, and arrogant in shyness. 
Aaron Murray, who um, is a straight movie star, Aaron Murray, uh, who is wealthy, attractive, cool, and famous. Hmm. Ideal is attractive, caring, elegant, and materialistic. Likes movies, classical music, sailing, and wealthy. Hates poor, irrational, stubborn, and shabby. I'm gonna be honest with you, Fiona. I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> hey, there ain't nothing coming out here. Eliza, let's talk to Eliza. Social media personality, wealthy, likes wealthy, or is wealthy, sorry, is wealthy, attractive, funny, famous. Okay, ideal is looking for someone who is attractive, cool, extrovert, and athletic. Hmm. Hmm. I think Eliza and Aaron might be a good match. She likes movies, princely, traveling, and wealthy. She hates deceit and demanding and laziness. Eliza and Aaron match you two. Yeah, she is a little bit older, but that's all right. Okay, so we have them. Now we have to select the place. I guess the only place we really have is maybe a dinner or mall. Do they like shopping? Traveling, sailing, classical music. No, they don't, really don't have any like thing for that. Let's just go send them to... Oh, wait, fine dining, romantic, gentle, attractive, and elegant. What is the mall? Arrogant, confident, annoying, and petty. Uh, fine dining, please. Okay, how did we do? Did we do well? Match was a success. Eliza Brooke and Aaron Murray. They had a very good time. They paid me $1,000 in commission, and it was love at first sight. Oh, baby. How good. Reputation also has increased. Well, congratulations, Cans. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Now that you have secured your very first match, how do you feel? Um... I feel like we're just getting started. Excellent, you must remember this feeling. You have a long road ahead of you, and you will enc encounter many bumps along the way. Should you waver, recalling that feeling will help you get back on pace. Remember, failure is a teacher. You must not forget that you still owe the landlord. Thus, your revenue and reputation rely on successful matches. You can use these coins to hasten your business success. However, uh, you still need to pay your debt regularly. Therefore, plan wisely. Folder. So, we have these two, which I'm going to be real with you. I, I don't think they're really going to be uh, good for each other. So, do I have to uh, do this or can I try to find more others? Because I don't think this is going to work. But I guess we'll try. Maybe they want us to fail here. Let's see. Um, maybe we can take them to the shopping. No. Take them to fine dining as well yeah confirm how was that match success wow it worked out and we also get a thousand dollar in commission no nine hundred dollar in, co in commission two hearts beat as one very good we are the best of all time <laughs> uh, the doorbell rings again how exciting we have our first guest he may be a client so let's greet him in Thomas Moore. Hi, are you the owner of this place? Well, welcome to Cupid Can. Super excited to have you here. Thanks for the greetings. It's nice to be here. How do you do? This is my first time coming to a matchmaking agency. I have to ask though, is Cupid Cans really your business name? <laughs> Indeed it is. It is an esteemed name bestowed by the original founders and has been our identity uh, for decades. Whoa, I didn't know you could talk. Sorry for judging the agency name, bad habits. I've been by here a few times and seen it empty. When I saw the lights were on and the place locked, looked clean, um, I was curious. I guess you're not ready to take on new customers just yet, are you? I just sorted out some starting clients, but we'll need time to collect more. Yes, yeah, this is a great opportunity. Wait a minute, how recently did you open? It's only been a few days? Well, it's been a couple of weeks, actually. Not too long, why do you ask? Well, congratulations, because today's your lucky day. I happen to be a professional marketing consultant. Thomas Moore at your service. To help grow your business, I can teach you a few marketing tricks. And I think I've got an amazing idea. Why don't you sign up as a client pro bono in exchange for my helping hand? And successful matches can lead you to wealth and reputation, but in this case of Mr. Moore and many others, you can earn so much more. Having important connections in Amberville can lead you to a wonderful opportunities, more date locations, and maybe even an avenue for further applicants. Looks like your familiar is familiar with business, I see. So, what do you say? Let's make a deal. Cool. Let's start with your reputation. Since you're new, nobody knows who you are. Don't worry. If you pull off matches successfully, your reputation will grow, and you'll start building connections. For starters, you should turn on the signage. <laughs> How else would people know you're open for business? It's a bit shabby, but it'll do for now. As you start making money, you'll want to be careful on how you spend it. Another way to get clients is by 
handing out brochures. Face-to-face -face promotion is crucial for new businesses, so put yourself out there. Someone might be looking for a sign from above, and that sign could be you. Oh, well, sounds like a lot of work. There's a lot to learn when you run a business, so you should be prepared to put in the work. Sitting around doing nothing won't get you anywhere. Well then, I'll leave it to you. You've got a lot of work on your hands, and I've got to go. Here's my number. I'll come back when you have more clients, and we discuss my pro bono. Via. Mr. Moore is a generous man for providing you with such tips. Now that, you, now that you're not a total rookie, it's time for you to put these new skills into action and avoid disappointment. Let us open our marketing telephone and look at possible strategies, right? All right, let's do this. Uh, there are many actions you can take before a new week begins. We'll see the results after uh, seven days have passed. Okay, so we have the signage and we want that open, right? You can have a billboard. Long term, place a giant billboard on major roads. Minimum one week, radio commercial, and a newspaper ad. $300 a week, $1,000 a week, $2,000 a week. Uh, so obviously we're going to probably do the, uh, the, the, the newspaper eventually, maybe. To find more uh, clients, you need to run marketing campaigns. There are numerous marketing strategies that you can choose from, but be careful of how much money you have available. I'd like to hand out brochures to end the first week. Okay, maybe not. Maybe no newspaper ad. We're just going to do uh, hand out brochures. Find clients. Turn on the signage. Oh, look at that. Matchmaker agency turned down. How cool. How cool. Handout brochures. Yes, please. $50. So handout brochures marketing successful. A client is waiting to be interviewed. Very well. Welcome back. I hope last week's outing did not drain you too much. Mm, I'm a bit tired, but I had a lot of fun. As it is similar in the gym, the more you exercise your marketing muscles, the more refined they become. Weeks will progress if you start a date or run a quick marketing campaign. Time to focus on this week's task, shall we? Look, new clients are streaming in thanks to your hard work yesterday. Some clients prefer to talk directly to you instead of submitting their whole profile. In that case, you need to call them for an interview and uncover the unknown fields. If you understand your clients better than you'll better than you'll have more data points to compare when looking for a suitable match. There's a client, her name is Miranda Kaufman, who wishes to discuss matters with you directly. Let's give Miss Kaufman a call. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be this is actually kind of cool. This is really cool. So it's common to acquire clients with incomplete profiles. So if you want to increase your chances of having a successful match, you should get to know them through interviews. The interview process takes time, so you must ask the right questions. A comfortable client is an open book, so be careful when choosing your questions. In the beginning, you will be limited on how many people you can interview in a day. All right. Miranda Kaufman. Oh, she looks shy. She's bisexual. She's a female. She's 28, and she's a librarian. We shall call for a uh, interview. She is. She. Her ideal is elegant, optimistic, calm, who likes indoors. She hates dirty, cold, chaos, and insensitive. And she is herself sensitive. We shall call. Interview. Good afternoon. I am Miranda Kaufman. I've been looking forward to uh, talking to you. Is that how it works? I've never used the matchmaking service before. I will let you take this one on your own, Cans. If you can get the clients to talk about themselves, all will be revealed. Bingo. Let me know all about you. That's how it works. Why don't you start with where you work and tell me about yourself? Part of an interview. So let's start with you telling me about yourself. Ooh. Okay, well, I work at the library. I was on a lunch break when I saw you handing out brochures on the street. You were very determined even though everyone kept turning you down. It was inspiring. I've always been a bit shy, so I have had a hard time meeting new people, let alone let alone people. After seeing you yesterday, I thought maybe I should put you put in a little effort too. I'm not really sure, but I think I'm more at ease with people who are reserved. I loved reading, or I love reading and drinking tea, so it would be great if I can meet someone who shares those similar tastes. Oh yeah, it doesn't have to be a guy, if there are girls who might be interested too. I've got to get back to work, but hopefully that's enough to work with. I hope you can call me back soon. See you. Congratulations, Cans. You have completed your very first client interview. Ms. Kaufman's profile is now has now been complete. While your skills as a matchmaker have yet to be proven, you've shown you can handle the first few steps. I've taught you all for the basics now. Well, thank you so much, Charles. We have only just begun, so you cannot afford to slack off. You still have a long way to go. I will teach you in advanced techniques after you've gained more experience. The doorbell rings. Look who has decided to grace us with a visit. Ah, uh, the landlord. Seems like you've settled in pretty nicely, huh? Welcome back. Hmm. I didn't expect to see people come in here so soon. Are those even real people? Paying clients? I sure hope so. You've still got 
to earn real cash to pay your debts after all. Don't forget the deadline for the first installment is in three weeks. Like it or not, I'll be there to make sure you pay up. Doorbell rings again as the landlord leaves. Well then, I suppose that marks the end of your first steps in running Cupid Cans. Do you remember everything I have taught you? Keep those lessons in mind at all times and manage your time wisely. You do not have forever to get this place running properly. Even the landlord himself has to come to remind you. If you manage to clear all your debts and stay in operation for 24 weeks, this place will truly be yours. On the other hand, if you fail to meet the deadline of each installment, you will break what little faith that is left between you and the landlord. I, for one, still wish to see you grow into your grandparents' shoes as a matchmaker. I'll be here to support you along the way, but the choices are yours to make. Should you have any questions, I shall do what I can to assist you. Best of luck, Cans. Thank you very much, Charles. The only way you can thank me is by working hard and making smart decisions. Now go home. Get your much-needed rest. I shall see you next week. My lord. Okay. So, we have next payment is in $500. Or next payment, $500 in a week. Uh, total left $25,000. So we have plenty of money as it stands. Uh, let's go ahead and go to marketing. See if we can do some more marketing. Uh, TV commercial. No, not that much. My lord. Magazine handout brochures find client outside let's do magazine for a hundred dollars a week we will do it for just one week is fine can we do one week there we are so we've done one week um and then we have everything about yes we have everything about miranda kaufman miranda kaufman we have all of what we need from her so that's good uh shop wise my lord, look at this. Upgrades, dating, items, makeup, gym membership, mini cactus, hand sanitizer, location surveys, and things like that. All very good stuff. And an amusement park. You're going up my freaking alley, aren't you? All right. And you can see all the different things that you can actually get uh, when you unlock at certain reputations. You can do a building renovation, which is increases the reputation star by one. Matchmaker instinct. I like compatible and incompatible traits. I kind of like that. Can we buy that? For 500. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think that's good indeed. So, right. Uh, uh oh, let me go to the next week now. I don't know how this works. Um, okay. All right. Hang on a sec. Uh, right. I don't, oh, uh, the, uh, I don't think there's anything we could do with, uh, Miss, Miss Miranda Kaufman. I think we're good. Right. And I think we've already done this open. Turn the sign off on the accepted new clients. No, no, no. Quick long-term special. Okay. Week. Do I go to the next week? Do I go out the door? I don't know what happens now. I don't know how we go to the next week. Because I feel like we need to uh, go to the next week to get the marketing going or underway. I think. Ah, okay. So I think what we just need to do is just hand out the brochures again. And that is the one week though. So we'll have brochures and magazines out, I think, right? 50. There we go. Yes, that's how we do it. So magazine marketing successful. Two new clients are waiting to be interviewed. Hand out brochures, marketing successful. A client is waiting to be interviewed. Brian King, a game developer who is also bisexual at the age of 23. His ideal is looking for someone who is faithful, who is storytelling, group activities, he likes doll making, he's sentimental, he's kind, he hates research, and he hates lively. There's Rose Carter, also who's a new person, who is a gang member, who is bisexual, 23. Her ideal is looking for someone who is easygoing, but also likes video games, uh, likes wild and home chef, uh, but also likes being a groupie, hates coffee, hates selfish people, and hates competitive. If Sharon Sanchez, who is ideal a business tycoon heir optimistic likes gym rats likes the beach and likes group activities hates eccentric and moon and sad hmm they like board games though this person brian king might be good for Sharon, who is a telemarketer but also might be good for hmm hmm Brian might be good for the librarian. Might be good for Miss Kaufman. Let's can we accept him for 250? We'll accept him and then we'll accept. We'll reject the others. Debut day or debt due date. Oh crap. Pay. 
Hey, Cairns, how are you settling in? You seem to be a quick learner. Surprising given your lack of experience. Good on you for reviving this place, though your parents disappointed me after I waited many years and nothing happened. Well, that's life for you. I'm still upset that you showed up when you did. Imagine waiting as long as I did and giving up hope. Anyways, do you know what's today? It's your debt collection day. I sure hope you haven't gone broke already. That would set up a pretty bad look, given it's only been a month. Yes, I still have hope and hope you would turn this place around and keep going. You sparked a tiny bit of hope in my heart, so make sure not to douse it, will you? Let's see uh, how you did in your first month. Your payment, please. You successfully pay for this cycle. Good. Let's hope you can keep it up for the rest of the year. Remember, this is just your first installment payment, and I will come back on the next due date. Make sure not to slack off and miss your second payment. If I come to collect and you don't have enough, please don't blame me if I start doubting your intentions. Do not fret too much, Cans. As long as you manage to pay him on each due date, you have nothing to worry about. You should focus your efforts on improving skills such as skill match or matchmaking. Either way, great work this month. All right, so... Um, yeah, I think we need to interview Brian. Miranda is getting a little upset because she's like, you know, I've been waiting for a while. I don't worry, Miranda. I am working on it. Uh, let's call for an interview for Brian. Interview, please. I'm Brian King. I'm here. Uh, here to find the perfect match. Let's go ahead and do this. Your preferences for a partner, I need to know. Welcome to the agency. We're ready to begin whenever you are. Thank you for taking part in this interview. Relax and proceed whenever you're ready. You failed in your role as an interviewer. You gained nothing from your time with the client. Hmm. <sighs> I'll take note of everything that make you happy. The client was uncomfortable during the interview. They left without sharing anything about their ideal match. Hold, oh, Brian. How am I supposed to help you? It is time for you to learn the essentials of becoming a matchmaker, Cans. There's more to learn. Oh, do you truly believe the agency of this... A legacy of this agency was built on a handful of weeks of experience. I'm unsure if it's blind naiveness or stupidity. Whatever the case, you need to sit up straight and listen to what I am about to teach you. I'm listening. There are key actions that must be completed before reaching a date between two clients. Firstly, you receive the first client or the you receive the client's application and must review them thoroughly. Take a note of every detail. If a profile is not complete or you're not satisfied with the details, you set up an interview. You perform a thorough and rigorous interview, learning and understanding the client from varying angles. When completed, you begin comparing various client profiles to find out what you believe to be a good match. Once you are firm on the decision of two candidates, you set up your set up what is necessary for their dates. Then you unleash the potential lovebirds to the wild, waiting patiently for the rest of the date. This can lead to wildly widely different outcomes perhaps one or both clients will be delighted about the pairing some might not be too thrilled others may be disappointed and upset about the date every outcome affects this agency's reputation and the possibility of receiving interesting clients but something is missing from all of this is there not you're in full control of the destinies of the individuals throughout the entire process once you send clients on their dates you must let go and let fate decide what happens but that is indeed a lie is it not what do you mean you're still in control, even during their dates. You have a unique ability to influence their dates. Isn't that an invasion of their privacy? Shouldn't I let fate do its job? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Cans. You will not join their date physically. Your family has passed down from generation to generation their unique matchmaking powers. I have powers? This is precisely why I'm disappointed in your parents. You should have been taught what you've inherited when you were young. Luckily, luckily you're an excellent mentor. Exactly. Learning to tap into your power will not come instantly. You need to tread carefully. This will be your training. Let's call this Cupid Training. You've received the power of a true matchmaker. You have unlocked dating events. So how do your powers function and how do you activate them? Once you have carefully read through clients' profiles, you will gain a temporary metaphysical uh, tether to, to them. When you two clients begin interacting with one another, your unconscious mind will activate the tethers and your consciousness will perceive uh, the space surrounding the two. Do not be startled. The individuals cannot sense your presence. With the tethers in place, you can influence their decisions and their actions. Wow. But to reiterate, to reiterate, there's nothing to worry about. I understand it's odd to experience and mistake the act of as spying, but it will become natural. This client, uh, the clients are also aware that you have a level of influence on the dates, providing support by various means. They agreed to this in their confident agreements when signing with Cupid Cans. Have faith in yourself and in this process, Cans. This is one of the most important tasks for a matchmaker. I should have read the fine print more carefully. This is why I'm here to guide you. 
With this very unique matchmaking power, you can decide the outcomes. You are in control of the entire chain of events that occur on every date. It is a powerful ability indeed. As such, this power comes with responsibilities. Each decision you make will affect the outcomes of their date. You may either join or break their hearts. Cupids are infamous for influencing human desires. A true matchmaker knows what to do. While in date mode, you will be able to observe and provide assistance. Their dating journey will display on the timeline. At certain points, you will be able to use your power to influence the outcome of different scenarios, but watch out for the time limit. Being a matchmaker requires the ability to place yourself in the shoes of the clients. You can either help them or hinder them in any way or decide to skip and let fate decide. As it goes, great powers has great consequences. Each of your decisions in each moment affects the final outcome of their date. Every decision matters. You can join their hearts together or break their hearts. Cupids are infamous for toying with humans' desires. A true matchmaker knows what to do. You've completed Cupid training. So, babysitting. The landlord asks you to babysit his relative's baby for the whole day while he's away for an errand. Huh, sorry, I'm working, my good man. You lose reputation. What? Whatever. I don't believe. I don't. So, let's put these two up for a match, shall we? Hmm. Yeah. Let's take them to fine dining as well. I want to get into the event. Can I get into the event? Ah, yes. The ride becomes awkward. Play some music to lighten the mood. Try to impress Brian by telling a story. Ask Marianne about their, her favorite interests. Love that. So the date starts there. Event one. Miranda accidentally comes across her ex-partner trying to get to know them. Tell the ex-partner to leave. Let the client have their moment. This is going fast. This is crazy, dude. The food here is really good. No wonder it's recommended. Okay, very well. Event three. Miranda recommends something they like. Listen and say it's not bad. Agreed to the next time. Say they have bad taste. Listen and say it's not bad. Am I playing as Miranda? Miranda looks interested in Brian's appetizer. Offer a few bites to Miranda. There we go. Miranda looks uh, particularly stunning today. Compliment Miranda. Oh my god. The end of the date. It's time to pay the bill. Ask for a split or ask if Miranda borrow Miranda money. Ask for a split pay. We'll see if we did okay. Match success! Hooray! It was a match made in heaven, actually. Very well. Hooray! Reputation increased from that. Voluntary work. The neighbors are organizing a voluntary work program to clean the whole neighborhood together. They're asking you to participate. Should you join? I shall gain reputation. Thank you. Oh, very well. That is very, very cool. And that um, was like the event process, I guess, of uh, going through dates and things like that. So you can kind of manipulate the date a little bit more in case you don't know a lot about the client or know everything about the client. But we are going to stop that right here for our first look at Matchmaker Agency. If you want to see this for yourself when it does release, make sure to comment down below, hit the like button, and that tells me you want to see this when it does come out. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and all that. Go add this game to your wish list because this game looks really cool, and I'm really, really excited for this game to come out now because this has been really fun. Anyways, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Do take care.